My, my platform is unapologetically about personal responsibility. I'm unapologetically Western, unapologetically a man's man. I'm a horse guy. And grab your balls, pull up your boots, and quit blaming everybody else. Did you push record? Thanks so much for tuning in to Second Act TV. Today I am so excited to bring a new content expert to Second Act. His name is Steve Horseman, and he is the creator and founder of Good Guys to Great Men, a platform, well, for men struggling in their relationships. Not just after 50, I think, Steve, that you, you know, you work with uh, men of all age groups, but our conversation, of course, will We'll hone in on our age grid. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's been great meeting you so far. I'm looking forward to it. I've really enjoyed our, you know, pre-call conversations, and I think that's where we established that we do have so much in common. I, you know, I left a marriage after 25 years, and subsequently found, discovered the need to help women who are in that same situation, that predicament. And during that process, I discovered that our channel, which was, well, it was <clears throat> programmed for women, we now have a 70% male audience, and that surprised me. <laughs> so in, in your words, tell us, what, how, what led you to this, and, and what, what is your goal with Good Guys to Great Men? Thanks. Thanks for the introduction. That was really nice. Much like anybody who's, who's got a platform, or is, is trying to become a leader in one particular niche, there's something that happened in their life, and this may be true for you too, Soka, that something happened that, that gave you an insight or a revelation or an epiphany that told you that something bigger was going on and that you wanted to communicate this. You wanted to learn, but also share. And at some point, uh, for some of us, it, it becomes a mission. It becomes something more important than anything, and it becomes a vocation and a business eventually. Mine was divorce at 50 years old. 50th birthday present was, and here are the things that guys are Googling at three in the morning, by the way. We just don't have a connection, and you know we never did. I love you, you know that, but I just don't feel in love with you anymore. I need more space. I need to feel more freedom, and I need to find out who I am, All right? Let's just start with those, and that's what guys are Googling. Um, and Meaning what, what, what their wives are saying. Yeah, that's what their wives are saying okay. to them. Yeah. Okay, got it. And so that, what that does is, and what it did to me, was shut my entire system down. My entire universe came crashing. Yeah, everything I thought I knew about being a good guy and, and, and working and making money and providing and trying to be the best I could be was totally inadequate. It was indicted immediately as being a failure and not a good husband. And, um, and so then started my journey. I was a good guy. And then I wanted to be better than that. I wanted to be great. Therefore, good guys two great men. We're all good guys, but some of us are dicks and we don't know it. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> and, and, and there's a way to, to become better in yourself. And it starts in, as an internal journey, independent of saving the marriage, independent of, of making somebody like you, independent of, of keeping somebody in love with you. We find out there's a much deeper journey and it, it, tends, it, it turns out to be incredible. So Good Guys to Great Men is there to help men who are, are hitting this wall of realizing they're at a point in life to where they're not everything they thought they were, things aren't as they seem, and everything that they use to measure their sense of well-being and masculine mojo has crashed. Yeah. And that's where we come in. Yeah, well, and, and one thing that I just really, really love about how you're presenting it and how you're tackling this big issue is, uh, well, it's kind of ironic the way I found you. I had one of our viewers send me a, a request uh, to see if I would do something about a certain man man's movement that he is associated with that he got a lot from, and that's the red pill. <laughs> and I was shocked when I saw when I, when I you know we discussed this when I googled this, and I and, and this guy was a really nice guy, uh, thinking I don't understand, I don't get it. And he said, yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of bad you know stuff out there. And you were one of the resources he sent. And once I saw you, I said, aha, maybe you know. Tell us, Steve, so this isn't confused, how your platform is, you know, is different perhaps than some other things that men who are very frustrated and hurt and jaded out there right now are running into. Yeah, 
My, my platform is unapologetically about personal responsibility. I'm unapologetically Western, unapologetically a man's man. I'm a horse guy. And but grab your balls, pull up your boots, and quit blaming everybody else. Stop being a freaking victim. And stop thinking that you can use your intellect and, and evolutionary biology to somehow indict half of the population, women, for being hypergamous and cheating, lying people who you can't trust. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that's not meant to say that's the whole red pill movement or even the MGTOW, men going their own way. There is a healthy and an unhealthy way to do everything. And there's even an unhealthy way to do what I do. I want to keep men square in their own agency and their own ability to be responsible for their thoughts, how they respond to what's happening without making everybody else wrong. Because mm -hmm. that's part of what gets us in a bad spot to begin with. So that's how we're different. We're very, very positive, very, very personal responsibility focused. And it's all about optimism and hope and what you can create. Creator is the opposite of victim. Yeah, exactly. I'm all about self-responsibility. You know, they, I, I know what I did wrong in my marriage. Whether it could have been saved, I don't know. It, I mean, that's water under the bridge now. But I'm all about what is it that I did wrong. And any time we counsel women or, you know, in these videos, it's what, what, what can you do differently? What do you control? And mm. so, I mean, I, I believe that we are all good people inherently. So I, I love that, you know, that that, that that comes across. It was very, very refreshing that it's not all women or all this, which uh, unfortunately there's a lot of that out there, huh? There is. There is a lot of generalizations meant to protect your own source of hurt and shame, and that's why people do it. Yeah, and on either end, that doesn't, that, that, that doesn't help. The, uh, so you have, you have the platform. What are some of the... You know, for, especially for our men and women listening, because women will learn a lot from what you have to say and, and what we're going to talk about, just like the men, I think, learn a lot from yeah. what we have to talk about in Second Act. But what are some of the most common questions you get? What kind of man, if you will, comes seeking for help? The guys who are attracted to my community are used to being successful. They're typically rock stars in business, uh, in fatherhood, in athletics, in finance. They're, they're used to knowing how to get stuff done. They're warriors at heart. And they're very smart. They're articulate. They're emotionally available. And a lot of them are, are saps, romantics like me, right? So they're all versions of me is what they are. And then they get into this romantic, committed, monogamous sexual relationship called marriage. And they try to bring all these tools of persuasion and control and manipulation into their marriage and it doesn't work and it blows up in their face and they don't understand why so they start trying all these new things and they're trying to not walk on eggshells and they're, they're trying not to piss her off and now the sex is gone and now they're trying to get sex back and um and so what they see uh, the marriage is as a project they see her as a project something that needs to be fixed or somehow changed and and what they've missed out on is things their dad never told them Things that we tell guys your dad never told you is that there's something going on inside the feminine psyche, the feminine heart, and the feminine experience of just being a woman that nobody ever told you. And you're treating it like a tractor. You're trying to clean the spark plugs and put new gas in it and then start it again, right? You're just you're trying to go back to the way it was in your first month of dating where everything was easy. Well, that was an illusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. And uh well, and again, to our audience, our age group, and you, I think you and I are, I think we're the same age. <laughs> we got divorced at the same age. <laughs> I was I'm 50. 50 yeah, I'm sorry? Oh, you're younger. Than, you're, you're, you're just a youngster. <laughs> but the, you know, the whole, the, the well, gray divorce and, uh, you know, men are just, blindsided and this is what we get a lot on our channel that uh, you know I was blindsided by what's going on she told you know I in that that is that the the communication of how men listen how women speak and vice versa and how we listen to each other so I know that you have a course uh, that addresses that whole issue I believe it's called how to defuse the divorce bomb correct exactly 
Yeah, how to do the divorce book. Yeah, well, I want to do a whole segment on that because that is so important to our audience. That's a huge part, great divorce and and, and everything that goes along with it for uh, for our channel. So I'd like to do a whole whole segment discussing that. Um, In in terms of uh, anybody reaching you, I will link to all of your information. Uh, You do, you, tell us, you have a partner as well and you guys have retreats and counseling and books and yeah it's got worldwide movement if you will we've got guys from australia to san diego i've got 17 coaches who work under the good guys to great men shingle um we have a huge funnel and influx of men in coming into the community so yeah we serve all over the world we try to match guys regionally so we don't have such time zone problems but um yeah and i have two business partners one in england and one here in colorado well, well you're offering uh you know, a service that is so needed because, well, at least in my experience, in my 50, well, <laughs> adult years, uh, men, I, I, I didn't know men to seek this sort of uh, help. And really, these last few years have been eye-opener for me. So I'm going to really enjoy our conversations, and I will hold you over, and let's come back and talk about how to defuse the divorce bomb. Thanks, Steve. Sounds perfect. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. The button is right over here. Just click on through to YouTube. And when you see the little bell right next to the subscribe button, hit that too. We'll notify you every time we launch a new video. See you next time.